This week we are talking about spiritual leaders and how Jesus built them. And when looking for spiritual leaders, we kind of want to have them ready, cut, packaged and perfect. No way! We often forget that uh, leaders are trained and they're mentored and then probably they're ready for a challenge. Let's give them a break when they fall short. Leadership is not a position or job, an administrative role. It's a highly valuable quality. Being a boss is not being a leader. There is a great demand for real leaders in all areas of life, but our focus is on spiritual leaders. Hmm. For his short earthly ministry, Jesus had the greatest school for leaders. What was his secret? My mind is humbled when seeing Jesus praying before choosing the twelve apostles. And when praying, did the Father finger pointed at those to be picked as the future apostles? No, I don't think so. But in this communication, in prayer, Jesus found his confident choice. And as we see today, 2000 years later, he did well. Identifying leaders is not an easy task. God sees in people much more than we can see and he was able to find in these few people things that no one else would have guessed. Then what? The lesson makes an interesting distinction between teaching and training. Teaching related to knowledge and training relating to formation of qualification through practice and discipline. Let's talk about knowledge and experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you prefer? A pastor who is very well educated in the scripture and always comes with the right answer? Or a pastor who has years of experience and has worked in the ministry for a long, long time? Why not both? Huh? <laughs> Knowledge is critical and it's the base for experience. It's interesting how they work together. The Hebrew leaders, though, had a lot of knowledge, but this knowledge blinded them. To be objective, Jesus did not choose highly educated men in his entourage. At least they were not highly educated in the divine studies. Did he choose at least men who were very experienced in that matter? The answer is no, again. The best leadership school was the journey with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is that this journey can be taken today as well. Walking with Jesus, with the priorities that he sets, through the experiences that he leads, we can all enroll. One was certain the twelve apostles and all the future spiritual leaders in the house of God were to lead by example, not by the power or authority of their position. And it was their knowledge and experience that made them valuable leaders. And this same knowledge and experience they had to pass it on to someone else. We may not all become great leaders, but we can take this responsibility in our small circles, our places of influence by being available to help, being open to the needs, by listening, by testifying for the greatest leader we know.